So what yes. happened on the past for your unfinished business <laughs> with the uh, national team? Yeah, it was a really uh, great time to be there. It was really nice. I was there for for one week to train with the national team under the 23. And it was a really great time. And uh, uh, this pro process for the passport, mm. with the passport, they say, OK, you have to live in Indonesia to stay here and to play for a club. But uh, I want to to uh, to first to play in Europa and then also for the national team. Somehow it was not uh, like possible. Mm -hmm. But I I feel was I was too young to stay in Indonesia. For me, I don't make this decisions. You know, I want to play always for the for the national team and to come there. But uh, somehow uh, it, it was not happening. You know. And now I I feel like I'm really ready to be to come in Indonesia now. Would you tell us about your roots, maybe your your Indonesian uh, ancestors? My grandmother and grandfather uh, they are from Java. They come in Netherlands. Which 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 uh, province or city do you remember? Uh, yes yes. You know uh, Surabaya. Surabaya. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Surabaya. It's my uh. city. <laughs> Ah, really? When I live in uh, Indonesia, I can visit also there, you know. It will be nice. Oh, okay. To see where, where my grandmother comes and my grandfather. Now you turn uh, 32 years old. So how big your passion and how to convince uh, uh, the, the authority to, to, to make your dreams come true? Yes, now I, I'm in a really good age. I feel like also like uh, I have a lot of experience now. I feel like really strong, you know, so also like mental strong and I'm really fit. So I think well, it will be the the perfect uh, combination now to be there and also to play there. And <clears throat> I can also help the, the younger players a lot, you know. Now in June, uh, 1st of June, I'm like a free player, you know. So now uh, I want to make uh, like uh, we, we are really searching and... Uh, find good contacts uh, by the clubs to find uh, find a good club for me you know uh, yeah so so why are you so so passionate coming here and uh, meanwhile uh, there's there's a many bad story about uh, our football here yes i know i know there's really uh, bad like bad situation bad news but uh, you have too much uh, like uh, positive uh, things there you know like uh, you have now like a lot of good clubs, good fans also. So I see, I, I want to stay positive, you know, always. And I see it like positive. And also on my social media, every time the fans ask about me. So that's, that's really nice. So I think it's perfect to come now in the Indonesia League. And also I play already a long time now in Europa. Now I want to prove myself. Joey, can you describe your career so far after the unfinished naturalization process? And why did you choose to play in Croatia? The Croatian league is really strong and also like popular. They're a really small country. They play also really nice football. And then I decided to come. And now I play five years in this league. And it's really nice to play in this, uh, in this country. It's like really a uh, quality place, you know. Uh, now I'm I'm five years here, so, and for me it's now like uh, it's uh, it's enough, you know. You play as a midfielder. So what is specifically yeah. your 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 type, your role? The most uh, of time I play uh, right midfielder, like uh, box to box, like uh, in attack and uh, also defense. Like uh, I I'm an, like a midfielder. I play box to box, and most of time in the right position possession. But it's also sometimes about coach the tactic. Sometimes I also play uh, left left midfielder. Uh, last game last game against uh, Dinamo Zagreb, I play number ten, so I can play that also. So I can play like on the whole midfield, but uh, the most of time I play like uh, like a right midfielder, box to box. Yeah, and. Uh... Do you know that recently many Indonesian youth footballers they they are going abroad? Do you have any tips for them 
especially when playing in Europe. Uh, I think you have to be like you, you have to you surround with good people around you. And also like you have to have a lot of discipline. That's the most, I think, most uh, important to have, you know. If you have a chance to say something to yeah. our federation, to our federation, how, how you want to convince them? Yeah, I, what I say, I was in 2011 uh, in Indonesia. And uh, it was for me a really, really nice time and uh, good feelings. And also, I, I'm now so hungry to come to come Indonesia. I feel uh, really, I, and also my roots is from there, so I want to to improve that, you know. What I thought, I'm now just 33. Like now, also in this time, the footballers uh, play much longer. Like if you see in Real Madrid, Modric is 37. I think he, he started to be 38. And these players are still really important for the club and for the national team. So why, uh, for me, so I have, I can play long, long time. Yeah, it's outside of football. Uh, how, how well is your Bahasa, Indonesia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I just was uh, one week in uh, in Indonesia. So uh, for me, it's, uh, it's really hard. I hope to, to live. To, to come and to live in Indonesia and I want to to speak the language really fast. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what about the food? Which, which one do you most like? The food is the food is the best. The food the food is amazing. When I go to my grandmother, the food is amazing. For me, it's, Indonesian food is for me the best. I eat a lot from all, all the countries, but in the end, Indonesian food is the best for me. Which one is your most favorite one? Like when I was in Jakarta, they make one uh, soup with uh, rice inside and chicken also. <laughs> that was really so nice. Too. Yeah, that was really good. Do you have uh, experience about uh, football and uh, the fasting time with your yes, with uh, your friends? My my wife is also Muslim and she uh, do also like fasting uh, with Ramadan. Your wife? Yes, yes. Yeah. So where's where's she come from? A Moroccan? Uh, no, she's from uh, Turkey. Yes, really, and, uh, uh, like a lovely time. Like it was really nice, and uh, you see always like uh, the people come more more together in Ramadan. That's really nice to see. How 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 much do you know uh, so far about Indonesia football? Do you do you, do you follow intensely? I follow most of the time uh, the players like uh, uh, Stefano Lilipali, how he is uh, doing. So I follow him like most of the time and Diego Michels then. So I follow them and then I see a lot of uh, things. Also Stefano play really good in the national team. So um, it's really nice to see that. Do, do you have yeah. uh, any clubs or any cities uh, that you want to play someday? In Indonesia, yeah, I speak uh, with Edwin Clock. He's also from my when uh, city where I born, and he he sent also like uh, videos to me and pictures from the club and uh, how the fans are, how the stadium are. There, that will be really nice for to play for this uh, club. But I see what, also a lot, a lot of other good clubs there. So nice clubs, and also I speak sometimes. Uh, with uh, Nabil of Borneo mm. and uh, what I know also like uh, Bali United and uh, can be also really nice but uh, yeah we have to see you know I'm always uh, open for, for everything I just want to say we hope we can to see you here to play for our team or maybe our national team anytime soon yeah, thank you. Yeah, I hope also and uh, also like the fans asked asked me a long long time already. So and still that they asked me. So I hope that everything now uh, comes true now 